Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and I am here with a birth announcement of sorts. This is a brand new game engine, and not only that, it is a brand new MMORPG game engine, which, uh, yeah, um, we don't get a lot of these, but there's uh, a good reason for that. Generally, the costs of developing an MMORPG is absolutely gigantic. Now, there is one actual existing MMORPG game engine I can think of, and I'll actually feature it in this video, but today what we are first going to talk about is the Artisan engine. Now, the Artisan engine is as I said, brand new. This is not even available yet, so this is actually going to be a fairly short video. This is more of a, I guess, a coming soon type announcement. And there is a MMO in development right now called Crowfall. Never heard of it. Uh, sounds like it's going to be very PvP focused, um, kind of in the vein of Dark Age of Camelot or Shadowbane, kind of, again, focused on uh, politics and kingdom building and uh, crafting and player versus player type environment, which to a certain demographic is just the the, the bees knees of games. I, there's there's definitely a group of people that this is what they're looking for in an MMO. But why am I talking about this on a game development channel? Well, what happened is the studio behind Crowfall, uh, Artcraft Entertainment, decided that they were actually going to go ahead and license out their technology. So what they are doing is forming a technology stack called the Artisan Engine. And the Artisan Engine is essentially an MMORPG, MMORPG game engine all in one. Uh, basically, the Artisan Engine will include a robust feature set for solving the full spectrum of challenges that emerge when, emerge when supporting thousands upon thousands of concurrent players in a virtual world, networking, persistence, physics, procedural world generation, dynamic world editing, and seamless worlds up to five... 5,000 by 5,000 kilometers, sorry, 5 by 5 uh, kilometers in size. In addition, it includes an ex exhaustive, fully featured RPG layer, including characters, inventory, equipment, monsters, AI, harvesting, races, classes, subclasses, powers, banking, secure trading, skills, leveling, and more. So basically, it is a fantasy MMORPG game engine ish kind of turnkey all in one uh they were funded to the tunes of something like 10 million dollars so there is some funding behind the studio and they also just got joseph hall to to uh, join them and joseph hall is now their new vp he came from shadowbane so basically wolfpack studios which ubisoft bought uh was founded by um joseph hall and a couple of other people whose names i'm not remembering at this moment in time so this guy has a history developing uh, these kind of games so they're basically again spinning off the technology they're using to develop their own game um wolf i had the name a second ago uh sorry crowfall uh they're going to spin off the technology into a new division called artcraft technologies inc and they're going to make it available as artisan engine now there is of course some uh missing information here uh there is no details about the exact cost uh, they really don't have anything beyond this press release itself. Uh, but again, it's not too often you hear about a newly available game engine. Uh, so I decided to share this information and I will throw this uh, press release in the link down below. Um, yeah, so if you're interested, this is not the first MMO focus 3D game engine out there. There's actually another one. I've been thinking about looking at it for a while now. And it's called the Hero Engine. And Hero Engine is actually pretty famous because it was used for... Uh, Knights of the Old Republic. So there is definitely some pedigree behind this engine. And now they're they're kind of strange. They've changed their pricing module. They, they seem to have gone out of business for a little bit. And then they came back, and now you can get it at $99 a year starting price. And I need to do some looking into this. I never really looked at Hero Engine that much because they seemingly went out of business or stopped development or whatever. But now they're back. It's under development again. So this is one thing I am going to look at in more depth and get back to you. So... Uh, yeah, they're, they're, by no means is this the only uh, MMORPG uh, turnkey solution out there, uh, but it is definitely another option, and it'll be interesting to see exactly where this one goes. Uh, so that's it. This is the new Artisan Engine. Uh, as more details, or I guess any details, come to light, I will share them on the channel. Um, and, you know, hmm? uh, yeah, does this sound good to you? Or is this the kind of game you're into? Are you into that whole pvp kingdom building stuff i believe that was actually the ambition behind the original um oh heck what's it called uh oh my brain's not working i already said it once uh shadowbane i believe that was the whole goal and design behind shadowbane they were trying to make it this kind of game of thrones simulator dynamic pol politics kind of game 
Um, and it looks like this is sort of a spiritual successor. So the technology behind it is going to be licensable. It'll be interesting to find out some key things like how much does this cost? Uh, what platforms is it going to run on? They mentioned VR and MR, uh, but really that's kind of about it. So I'm going to keep an eye on this, see what it turns into, see what it ends up costing, see if there's any use to smaller developers out there, or see if this is another one of those things that kind of gets announced and, and never actually arrives. Anyways, are you interested in it? Does the um, um, Artisan Game Engine sound interesting to you? Or does this RPG sound interesting to you? Let me know. Comments down below. All right, that's it for now. Oh, yeah, no, no. One more question. Are you interested in learning more about the Hero Engine? Let me know if you want me to set some focus on that. It's something I do intend to cover at some point. But let me know if I should make it a priority or not. All right, that's it for now. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.